Packers PFF grades, standout performances and key struggles in season opener against Eagles. In their Week 1 showdown against the Philadelphia Eagles, the Green Bay Packers showcased star performances from right tackle Zach Tom and wide receiver Jaden Reed. Promising debuts from linebacker Ajaron Cooper and safety Xavier McKinney on defense also stood out. However, a dominant performance by the Eagles' offensive line, combined with big games from A.J. Brown, Devonna Smith, and linebacker Zach Bond, proved too much for the Packers to overcome, leading to a 34-29 defeat on Friday night. The debut of Jeff Halfley's highly anticipated defensive unit was largely underwhelming, failing to contain the high-powered Eagles offense. Based on grades from Pro Football Focus, PFF, here are the best and worst players for the Packers in their season-opening loss to the Eagles. Top Performers on Offense 1. RT Zach Tom 92.0 Tom was nearly flawless not allowing a single pressure over 43 pass-blocking snaps and earning an elite grade in run-blocking. His performance solidified his role as a key protector for quarterback Jordan Love. 2. W.R. Jaden Reed. 89.2. Reed made a significant impact despite one dropped pass. He averaged an impressive 4.93 yards per route run, accumulated 54 yards after the catch, and scored a spectacular 33-yard rushing touchdown. His explosive playmaking ability was evident throughout the game. 3. LG Elkton Jenkins, 78.4 Jenkins showcased his versatility and dependability, allowing zero pressures in pass protection while providing solid run support. His consistency was crucial to the offensive line's overall performance. 4. RB Emmanuel Wilson, 69.4 Wilson provided a spark with two runs of over 10 yards, and showed his versatility with a tough reception for a first down and a key block on Reed's touchdown run. 5. R.G. Jordan Morgan, 67.7. Morgan allowed just one quarterback hit over 19 pass-blocking snaps and was effective in the running game, contributing to a balanced defensive approach. Top Performers on Defense 1. L.B. Ajaran Cooper, 85.9. Cooper impressed in his limited action, recording a run stop, a batted pass, and three tackles in just 11 snaps. His high-energy performance could earn him a more significant role moving forward. 2. S. Xavier McKinney, 76.2. McKinney was a playmaker on defense, intercepting a pass and allowing only one completion in his primary coverage. He also made four tackles without a miss, showing his reliability in the secondary. 3. L.B. Eric Stokes, 66.7. Stokes had a mixed outing with a missed tackle but limited his coverage to just two catches. His solid coverage skills were a positive takeaway for the Packers' defense. 4. C.B. Kayshawn Nixon, 65.4 Nixon recorded a sack on Jalen Hurts, broke up a pass, and made two stops. However, he struggled with four catches allowed and two missed tackles, highlighting an area for improvement. 5. D.E. Lucas Van Ness 65.3. Van Ness, a rookie, contributed with a hurry and a run stop over his 19 snaps, showing flashes of potential that the Packers hope to develop further. Lowest performers on offense. 1. T.E. Luke Musgrave, 43.8. Musgrave struggled to make an impact, failing to catch either of his two targets and being the intended target on Jordan Love's interception. His lack of production was a concern for the offense. 2. W.R. Dontavian Wicks, 44.0. Wicks had a tough game, dropping a pass and failing to catch any of his three targets. The young receiver will need to show more consistency to earn a more significant role. 3. See Josh Myers, 50.1. Myers had difficulties with two pressures allowed, one penalty, and only average grades in run blocking, which affected the interior line stability. 4. T.E. Tuckercraft. 55.1. While Kraft was effective as a run blocker, his 30 routes run resulted in just two targets. The Packers will need more production from him as a receiving option. 5. W.R. Christian Watson, 59.6. Watson caught a touchdown but turned 28 routes and 5 targets into a mere 13 yards, struggling to create separation and make plays downfield. Lowest performers on defense. 1. L.B. Isaiah McDuffie, 35.7. McDuffie had a rough outing, 
missing two tackles, and allowing a touchdown pass from Jalen Hurts to Saquon Barkley. His performance was the lowest on the defensive unit. 2. D.L. Kenny Clark, 39.4. Clark generated four hurries, but received poor grades against the run, which diminished his overall impact on the game. 3. D.E. Kingsley Enigbare, 41.3. Enigbare failed to make his presence felt, not recording a single pressure or tackle over 30 snaps, highlighting a need for greater productivity. 4. D.L. Carl Brooks, 42.4. Brooks provided a bit of pressure and made two stops, but his run defense grade was the lowest on the team, indicating struggles in controlling the line of scrimmage. 5. DLTJ Slayton, 42.7. Slayton made three assisted stops and a hurry, but received low grades for his performance against the run, which limited his effectiveness on the field. Special team standouts. Ajaran Cooper excelled with a tackle on kickoff coverage, and was the highest-rated special teams player for the Packers. Zane Anderson also contributed with a tackle. The Packers did not miss a tackle on special teams, but Rashid Walker, Xavier McKinney, and Isaiah McDuffie were all flagged for penalties. Kicker Braden Narvison missed a crucial 43-yard field goal, while punter Daniel Whalen executed well, placing one punt out of bounds inside the 20 and forcing a fair catch on another, with a net average of 37 yards. Quarterback Analysis Jordan Love, 64.6 Love had a mixed performance, credited with two big-time throws, but also two turnover-worthy plays. He was hurt by three drops, two throws while being hit, and three throwaways. His adjusted completion percentage was 69%, with an average depth of target close to 10 yards. Love completed three of five passes over 20 yards downfield, but was just 2-4-8 in the intermediate range. Under pressure, he struggled, completing only 3 of 10 attempts, including a 70-yard touchdown pass on 12 pressure dropbacks. Malik Willis, 42.5. Willis had a brief and ineffective stint, throwing wildly incomplete on his first snap and getting sacked before attempting a Hail Mary on his second and final snap. Key stat to know. Cornerback Jer Alexander made an interception but also allowed four catches for 108 yards, including a critical 67-yard touchdown to A.J. Brown early in the second half. This significant play contributed heavily to the Eagles' win, demonstrating both the highs and lows of Alexander's performance in this primetime matchup.